Hey guys this is T2Asia4V. In this video I will report on how I got massaged by the same masseuse two days in a row on my last day in Hokkaimen City. Morning of the third day in Hokkaimen City. I'm going to take a flight back to Japan this evening, so today is my last day in Hokkaimen City. Reign of Sadness I will have lunch in the Fenton area. I'm going to go to this ramen shop. I decided to order this all taste of Chintan soup ramen with all toppings. Salt taste of Chintan soup ramen with all toppings, looks very delicious. The rain has stopped and my stomach is full. I will contact the masseuse in Bindthan district who gave me a massage yesterday. I was able to make an appointment with the masseuse. I will be transferred to the same hotel I went to yesterday, designated by the masseuse. I came to the same hotel as yesterday. Check in. When I tried to check in, the receptionist remembered my face. I was asked a question as yesterday, two hours. But I asked for a one hour check in. I waited in the reception lobby for about a minute because the room was being cleaned. Since the room has been cleaned, I will move to my room. This is the room. The room is a little bigger compared to yesterday's room. The shower room is also a little larger compared to yesterday. There's an interestingly shaped chair that wasn't in the room yesterday. It's a nice room. After taking a shower, I will inform the masseuse of my room number. Prepare the massage fee in advance. While waiting for the masseuse, on the same floor, I hear someone knocking and then entering the room. Shortly after, I received a message from the masseuse. After a while, the door of the room mentioned earlier on the same floor opens and I hear the sound of someone coming out. The footsteps were coming towards my room. There was a knock on my room. The masseuse seemed to be doing another massage on the same floor. A moment with the masseuse in Bain Than district, when she entered the room, she seemed to remember me and she was smiling a little, and she greeted me with konnichiwa in Japanese. One minute after she enters the room, the massage has already begun. The masseuse first massages my body. The massage is like attaching an octopus suction cup to my body and then releasing it. The lady does this using her mouth. That octopus sucker massage lasted about a minute. Then the masseuse changed her position and started giving her a real massage. First, she gave me a massage that made the horse go wild. Yesterday, the horse didn't get wild. So I'm a little happy about that. I asked for a massage yesterday and today, so I guessed that the lady would provide services. The horse ran wild for about a minute in a very polite manner, and then she gives me a massage like a flip frog. The frog was upside down for about 2 minutes. 6 minutes after she entered the room, I was completely exhausted from a full-fledged massage. When the massage is over, the lady quickly goes to take a shower.
Afterward, I has a short conversation with the lady. It seems that the lady will be going to Japan in six months. She says her purpose in going to Japan is for work. However, she can't speak Japanese very well. No, she can't speak Japanese at all. If things continue like this, I don't think she will be able to work in Japan even if she goes to Japan. I'm really curious about what kind of job she's going to get. But since it's a very private matter, I didn't ask her for details. After that, she said, thank you, see you again, bye bye. And she left the room. The time the masseuse was in the room was about the same as yesterday. About 11 minutes. Enjoy the massage in Bainthan district for two days in a row. After the massage, I leave the hotel. It's raining a little, so I decided to take a grab car instead of a grab bike. Monte Carlo Casino, which I visited yesterday. I lost 50 US dollars yesterday, so I would like to get 50 US dollars back today. The casino results are I lost again. Relax and take a walk. I found a stylish cafe, so I decided to take a break. I decide to order a caramel coffee shake. Caramel coffee shake. It's not too sweet. It's a refreshing and easy to drink coffee. Since the amount of coffee is small, I drink it while melting the ice. I just drank coffee earlier, but I'm starting to get hungry. There was a Japanese beef bowl chain restaurant called Tsukiya so I decided to eat there. You order by pressing the door bill at your table. Small size of half boiled egg judon and. I will order a set salad. Choose barley tea for the set salad drink. Unlike Japan, barley tea seems to have a fee. It looks the same as the Japanese one. And the taste was the same. I'll be returning Japan tonight, so I'll take a quick look around the Lathanton area. Before heading to the airport, have a last beer at a cafe just around the corner from Lathanton district. The time is 7.20 pm, check out hotel. I'm heading to the airport. Farewell Lathanton District. I arrived at Dansun Hat International Airport in about 25 minutes from Lathanton. Flight to the land of prisons with Vietjet Air. Ticket issued safely. I passed through immigration. I decided to take a break in this lounge that I can access with priority pass. It's a nice lounge. Lounge meal. This lounge doesn't seem to have alcohol, so I'll have coffee instead. It's almost time to board inmates heading to prison. It appears that some prisoners are already preparing to be hanged. It's a dynamic boarding method. My luggage is heavy. I'm on board. Farewell, Hokaiman City. Four hours later. I enjoyed a moment of parole in Hokaiman City. The tough prison work starts tomorrow.
arriving in the land of prison. Thank you for watching. I'm glad if you feel you have trip. Please subscribe T2 Asia 4V channel. Please leave a comment and thumbs up. Please also super thanks. Please follow me on social media.